with us. It's going to be fun. Um, so, here we go. Gothic Arches is going to be this little first part. And we're going to jump right into this, okay? And um, let's see here. Basically, it doesn't matter pretty much what circle you use. I prefer one that's a little thicker. And I like using the ones that are pretty much down here. And uh, this bottom one here, I believe, is a 50 by 50, you know, diameter. And of course, we go up one that's 48, 46, you know, 44, 42, 40, 38. Okay. Uh, the TS info is in the info message on the guild, so just hit in and it should bring it up. Um, uh, give me one second, I'll get you that information. Um, this is it right here. So let me close this out and that's the team speak information. Holy crap, it didn't do it. Or did it not paste right? What in the heck is that? It put an icon instead of my oh, never mind. Okay. That'll work. Landy got it good. Alright, here we go. And um sorry, sidetrack. But we're going to be working with this uh, lower section of this uh, the circle stack. And we're going to just pick one out of this bottom section because it has a little bit thicker bottom part. Okay, And I like using the thicker ones better than the thin ones. Uh, it gives me a little bit more meat to work with. That's not saying that you can't use the, the thinner ones, but my preference is the thicker ones uh, just because of ease of use. But I'm going to take one of these from the very bottom and here I'm going to select the bottom one. It is a 50 radius circle. So I'm going to drop this down to 25 by 25 quarter of that circle. And this is the, the, the one I'm going to be using. So I'm going to copy this and we're going to go up top. Okay. And let's get up here. User joined your channel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's up, Spooky Man? <laughs> yeah, I set you up a channel, dude, by the way. So just in case if you need a backup channel or, or whatever, um, it's there, it's yours. And if you want to passcode it and all that kind of stuff, just let me know. All right, so we're going to make a gothic arch out of this quarter circle, and this came from a fifty, a fifty diameter circle, and I took a twenty-five by twenty-five section out of it, and so we have a quarter. And I'm going to basically break this down into sections and it's going to show you the difference in between and and how you can take something like this and slowly make something that's higher peaked. Okay? So I'm just going to grab this section here. I'm going to kind of chop off a few. Let's from 25 we're going to drop down to say 16, 15. That works. We'll go with that. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this one in here. And if I drop that number down even further to something like 9 by like the 24 here, that's fine. Copy that and I'm going to drop it over here. Now you can always also, you know, you can kind of see how I got this thing kind of laid out already. You know, like if I take this and I mirror it onto the side, it literally creates just a smooth arch all the way across, right? Well, if I take this and I mirror it right beside itself, it's going to start forming a point. And then, of course, over here, this one, the point is even more dramatic. And so it's instead of like this, it's now like this. The hardest part is that connection point in between the two at the very top. 
and it depends on what you're comfortable with and how you want to set it up. You can either set it up even or you can set it up odd. And when I say even or odd, it's basically the width. You know, it's either going to be an even number or an odd number. And so the first one I'm going to do is this one right here. And so let's go ahead and just knock this one out right quick. I'm going to copy this. Let's bring it over here to this square. I'm going to drop this down. And you can kind of see how I got this thing done. That's the original. This is going to be even, and this one's going to be odd. Okay? So let me pop this one down here. And this one being odd, if I come over here and I measure this, okay, and it comes out to 15. 15 plus 15 is 30. Okay, well, that's an even number. I want it to be odd. So I'm going to leave a gap in between the two. Okay, so control V. Let's bring this up. I'm going to mirror it and basically put end to end over here. And get this thing kind of sit down on top of itself. And we're going to drop it right here with a gap. And this one being my even one, I'm going to literally butt the end of it right up against the one that is already existing. So let me pull this over here and drop it up and down and play with it until I get it there so boom and you can kind of see that shape that's actually forming right here and if you notice here I've got a gap well this gap is pretty much what is the common issue when creating like gothic arches and stuff like that okay usually it'll come out and for some reason one side wants to kind of kick over to one side or the other and you end up getting mad and you want to just like throw things right um, this is hard to fix and this is on an even and it's always going to be like that for an even um, no matter how you try to set that thing up it's going to fight with you okay and uh, there's really very small things you can do to fix it. Um, for this particular one, there is a possibility of being able to fix it, but there is like pretty much no guarantee, but we're going to see. But if I take my selection here and I click on that, and let me kind of zoom in this so you can actually see this angle. If I put a wedge in here, there's a possibility I can fix it, but there's still no guarantee that I can fix it. Um, it's just because of the the central location because of this this even number that we're kind of dealing with here but if I take this top point and I copy it and then I paste you can kind of see the shape of what I pulled off the top if I bring this in here and drop it in and I click that doesn't really fix it so well okay well how do I fix that well like I said there's really no fixing that um, you're better off just taking your uh, I mean we can do like that but it still doesn't have the angle that we're looking for so let me back out of this and if I go in here and try to use like a wedge from our little default little value here like so there's a possibility we can fix it with this but there's really no guarantee but what we're going to do is take two wedges one this way and one this way so we have like a standard straight point a possibility we can fix it with this but still no guarantees so we're gonna drop this in and see what it looks like it's got too much of an angle and so we have to sit there and kind of play with it and that's why I don't like using even numbers when I'm making these type things now you can kind of flatten this out a little bit um, 
if I come in here and actually paint these voxels, you can see kind of how they're kind of set up. They're they're kind of flaky, but if there's some way you can actually make these side pieces actually come out the way you want, um, there is a chance of fixing it. But let me grab this one. I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to paste this. Now there's a possibility I can fix this. Now this kind of goes into a little bit of voxelmancy, um, creating things that may possibly fix other stuff. And with that I'm going to kind of show you uh, one way I can fix this. If I hit, go ahead and make a reactor of four voxels like this. And uh, let me paint this so you can see it. User disconnected from I'm going to paint channel. these so you can kind of see that. We don't need these over here, so let me go ahead and get rid of those. This is the one we're going to be working with. Now, if we look at this really closely, you'll see that the point literally sticks out to the other side. Well, that point is what's causing the issue. If I can bring that point back to where it's like midway of that voxel space, I'm, I can probably put two of them like this together, and they literally create like a little bow tie. And... Um, I'm going to try to do that with this. So give me a second here and we're going to make one. If I take a voxel, bring it up into the air here, and I'm going to hit check. And I'm going to grab these four voxels and I'm going to you cut them, paste them, bring them up like so. And we're going to select all four, hit it with the smooth tool to thin it down. We want this pretty darn thin but we don't want it to totally disappear on us so that you guys can't see it but you want to smooth it down as small as you can so we have a really thin little section okay and uh, hopefully you can kind of see these little dots on the screen there kind of moving around hopefully I'm not covering it up with my my noggin but I'm going to grab these four and I'm going to do a control X to cut it and I'm going to paste it right here around this voxel. And hopefully I can get this thing kind of put into position. And paste. Holy crap, it disappeared. Okay, I forgot. I got the paste without air. There we go. And check. Now, with that, I have created a, a panel. And if I take this panel, I hit copy, I hit paste, and I'm going to have to come over here to do this. And I'm going to rotate this onto the side because I'm going to need it in side orientation later anyway. I'm going to paste one there, go over two, go over two, and go over two, and lay down like four of them in a row. I'm going to take my line tool and do the skeleton key method and basically go across the side to smooth that side out. We want that the sides on this to be pretty much standard voxel thickness. And what this does is literally takes that expanded voxel and collapses it back down into the standard voxel size. Okay. And uh, we're going to come up here and basically do this on all four sides of this and you'll see how this thing will eventually just shrink down to a standard voxel even though it's still thin okay and basically what we're going to do is take the best looking one out of the four and use that for what we're going to be doing next but we've got to kind of fight with the tool a little bit here But don't do it just once. You know, go over it a few times just to make sure that it is flat because the flatter it is, normally the the better it's going to look when you're done. But you can see how this thing's just shrinking down in size. Okay. If I'm going too fast, it's okay. I am making a video uh, for this. It will be up on YouTube, and you can kind of go back and rewatch. I'm going to hit copy. 
but I want that little panel and I'm just grabbing one out of this that's really clean okay and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna modify this one little voxel that we pulled out from right here okay that's the one that I'm modifying and if I can modify one I can fix both of them okay and I'm gonna take this little voxel and I'm gonna put it you can kinda of zoom in here so it kinda of looks better on your screen but I'm literally gonna drop this down and put it right next to this where that point comes out like this and I'm going to paste it makes a slight little modification to that point but it puts it in line with a standard voxel and if I take this and I copy it and I paste it in, in to, to replace this one right here watch what happens I have created a bow tie and now I have a very clean point right here in the top of my little arch and that's how you can fix a even arch okay now let's go and do the odd one and the odd one I like doing odds just because I'm used to it and I like it better <laughs> okay um, it's a lot faster you don't have to go through all these little steps to 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 create an odd one it's it's just to me a lot easier and I like building on odd numbers anyway but what we're gonna do is we have this set up and literally it's mirrored and we've put a gap in between it so I'm gonna take this one and I'll, what we're gonna be working with is this one right here on the inside this is the one side that is most most important because what we're gonna do is take this side to modify another pasted version so that we even it out and when we paste this piece in there it'll fit perfectly and we don't have a lot of distor uh, distortions in the voxels it doesn't look all funky and it, I'm hoping it will make sense uh, when I do this I'm going to hit copy I'm going to hit paste so this is what we're working with okay and like I said this side here is the one that's important because I'm basically making a voxel that will fit between those two points right here so let's take this and I'm gonna paste down another one but I'm gonna paste it on this side of it right here okay so paste I'm gonna put my orientation this way along the length of it that I pasted I'm gonna hit V to mirror put it on the other side and paste once again now if I paint this you'll see the shape that I have created it looks a little funky but we're gonna fix that so this is what I want to copy out copy and this should it should look like this on almost all the ones you work with like that okay now I'm gonna paste this right in the center just like that and you can see how clean that voxel was placed in there it doesn't have any points but we're gonna fix that okay so give me a second here and what I'm gonna do is create an anti-voxel string and uh, basically we do that just by stacking voxels up like so and try to make it about 11 12 13 however how you want to do it um, we're gonna select all but the top and the bottom voxels and we're gonna smooth it we're gonna smooth this down until it gets really 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 thin in the center there because the thinner the better for what we're going to be doing but you don't want to get it too small and you won't be able to see it okay so this is about where I want it to be I'm gonna grab that center one that looks really thin I'm gonna hit copy now up here I put this way too high up but it's okay if I come in a little closer and hopefully you'll be able to see what this looks like when I drop this in you can see the little yellow there right you can see I'm gonna maneuver this right at the very bottom of that arch uh, connection point and I'm gonna drop it down one voxel and click 
So now I have a pretty clean little point there. That's one way. And we're going to come up to the top and do the same thing to stretch out the top voxel so that it actually forms the point. Hit V, or excuse me, Control V. And I'm going to bring that thin voxel right to the point and click. So now we have a little bit sharper version at the very top. And this, it does have a little bit of a curve, but it's it's something that you really won't notice very much unless you really, really get in there and look, okay? And um, you'll be able to play with it. And this little arch point is going to change for every single um, arch that you work with. It's going to change just slightly. It's, some's going to go up a little bit, some's going to go down a little bit, but it is manageable. And if you play with it enough and are a voxel mancer, you might be able to make the width of that anti voxel a little thicker and be able to kind of control that point. All right. And I uh, hope you guys don't mind. I'm going to be right in this line right here. Uh, can y'all jump? Just put your block right over top of those and you'll be in perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to do one, we're kind of going back, because if you remember, over here, this is the section I used for that, which is this. It's a 15 by 23, and it was cut out of that 50 diameter circle, um, and this is taken out of the quarter section of one of those. This one here is a 9 voxel by 19 voxels. And basically what we're going to do here, let me copy this, I'm going to drop down into this one. And I'm going to put this one right here, and we're going to basically do the same thing with this. And basically just reiterating kind of what we went over with the last one. You can see I got that same problem. It kicks over to one side. And this is going to happen every single time you try to do this on an odd number. And like I said, that's pretty much the main reason why I like odds better than the evens because there's a lot more steps in fixing the odd ones. Um, but it's all up to you and what you want to do. Now this one, I'm going to grab that one, I'm going to copy it out, and let's paste it down. Bring this up and paste. Now if I take my selection tool and I grab that, you can see that point is just like it was the last time. It is off on this and sticking out that side of that voxel and that's what's causing that distortion where it w w literally starts doing this every time you try to copy one side to the other it's always going to be doing this number so the only way to fix that is to make that that um, this little panel like we did earlier and this is what we're going to use for this same thing you can always go back in the video and check it out on how to make that it's very simple but you want that as thin as possible because it'll make it come out really sharp and really clean. Hit V, and we're gonna pop this down right here, if I can get that thing lined up. <laughs> get over there. All right, there we go. So we pop that little panel in. We'll take just that one that we modified and copy. And we're going to paste this in right where we pulled it out of. And then I'm going to paint that other one so you can see what happened to it. Actually, let's go ahead and paint it now. Just so you can see it a lot better when we paste it in. So that's basically the shape that we're working with. And, and the main reason why, and literally, it will flip from one side to the other if you're trying to copy it from one side to the other. And it's going to fight with you the whole entire way. And the only way to fix it is to correct one of those voxels. All right, so let me go back and get another copy of this voxel that we manipulated. We hit copy. And I'm going to replace that one with the one we modified. And I'm going to drop that down right in that same location. You can see, boom, I have that sharp point now. And the top looks pretty good. We'll just leave that the way it is, but it takes a lot of steps to try to make that thing look pretty. 
And that's pretty much kind of what I'm getting at here, okay? All right. What is going on down there? Oh, there must be copying the uh, circles down there. Okay, I got it. Now, let's go ahead with our odd version of this same exact one. Let's come over here and we're gonna paste. You're gonna see, again, reason why I like working with odds. <laughs> um, it's it's literally for this reason I can I can play with this a lot easier than I can the uh, others. And you see I've got that one voxel gap in between, and we're just going to copy one side, paste. I'm going to move one vox over putting my high side up against um, the low side of the one we originally pasted. I'm going to mirror it and put the high side right up against this side as well. And you see we've made this little funky shape. Let's go ahead and paint this so you can see that little piece that we have created right there. Copy. And I'm going to paste this one right in there. Like so. And now all we got to do is grab that little anti voxel string that we created earlier. And do the same thing here. Just that. V down over out point. So there we go. And now you have a little bit sharper um, little gothic arch. And this is kind of the ex expedient way on how to kind of put this all together and stuff.